All right, here's another video review. This is a part two review of Fans Toys FT7 Stomp, their version of a Masterpiece Sludge. This is him in his dinosaur mode, uh, transformed him. Uh, one thing I'll say, the transformation was very painless and uh, pretty in, pretty uh, intuitive, and, and I really do like the engineering behind it. I think they did a great job. Just some simple metrics to get these hind legs to kind of collapse and uncollapse into the robot leg, uh, but and the locking mechanism for the hips. But yeah, everything went together just really easily. And I actually didn't transform my Giga Power Graviter because I didn't really feel like going through that. Just knowing that was a little more of an adventure than than this one. So if transformation is a big thing for you, this this guy I think definitely takes it from an ease of transport. Uh, transformation standpoint compared to the Giga Power. Uh, I do think the proportions might be a little better on this one too. The the tail is longer, which is nice. A nice chrome silver tail. You don't have to attach the plastic um, smoked bits like you do on Giga Power to get kind of that illusion of a longer tail. Uh, I do like the head sculpt better on this. I like that you get the blue eyes. That's one thing I wish the Giga Power Dinobots had where the dinosaur mode could have the blue eyes. And even the red eyes that they have in some of them, including uh, the Gravit or their sludge, you can't really see the eyes. Um, it does have the gun in there. But I just think the shape of this head is more in line with definitely the G1 toy, but I think the cartoon as well. I think the Giga Power Dino head was just a little too tall here, like the shape of it just, you know, is an illusion of like a different kind of dinosaur. I do like the Giga Power neck is a little longer. I mean, I think this one's not bad, but uh, I do like that longer neck and just the overall size of Giga Power. Giga Power is just gigantic. I mean, this is big and it's dwarfed by the Giga Power. But yeah, very nice looking. It To me, it reminds me of the G1 toy, this one. Yeah, as far as the colorations and the way the, you know, just the overall grays and, and gold chrome and silver chrome, what it looks like, which is also, I think, maybe closer to the G1 cartoon as well. So I think, I think if I were to get a set of uh, bots in dino mode for display, it would be the fans toys. I just think the I remember having Grinder, and I just thought him in his T-Rex mode was really impressive and and really nice looking. So my vote would be Robot Mode, Geek of Power, maybe Dino Mode, the fans toys, just from a, a, a preference standpoint. But really cool in Dino Mode. Glad I transformed them. Um, fans toys stomp the FT7, and, you know, he looks looks really cool in the dino mode. Uh, the head has multiple points of articulation. You have the head joint up here, rotation, then you have the joint down here that can rotate, and then you have the same kind of thing. You have a bend here, and then you also have a bend there uh, for him, and then you have the rotation of the head. He actually has a waist rotation where that you can engage with the ratchet, you know, pretty much where the waist rotation is, and then you have your arms that have the same, you know, rotation. The front front legs of the dinosaur are the arms of the robot, and then these come out and, you know, not on ratchets, but they have, you know, good articulation as well. And like I said, the tail can, can swivel and stuff. So, you know, really nice articulation for a dinosaur, and I think they really got it right there. And like I said, I think it just fits in nice and looks looks really good in its dino mode, and I would almost give dino mode to fans toys over the Giga Power, um, but Giga Power Graviter in hand as a, as dinosaur is just so massive and beautiful also, so you know, like I said, these are just great sets of Dinobots, and you know, you can't really go wrong with either, uh, but you know, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking these videos, uh, let me know in the comments if if you have a different take on, you know, him in dino mode. But like I said, I think I just really like, I think the head sculpt and proportions really do it for this guy. And I will see you at the next video. Thank you.